what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. good. Today guys, we're back. He's going to do video guys. I'm going to make a video for guys. My name is Devan and welcome to the best guys. So we're going to be reacting to why is the Quran a miracle? Wow. That is a very big question. Why is the Quran a miracle? This is going to be our first time giving this a try and uh, watching this. We really don't know what to expect but we know it's going to be good. You know how to do it? So Talk to us don't react more. Let's get into this video. Yeah, in Islam, faith is not blind. It is based off knowledge and rationality. When Muslims are asked why they believe Islam is the truth, they respond by saying the Quran is the proof. But when they are asked to explain how, it can be difficult to give a satisfying answer because there is just so much that can be said. So. How is the Qur'an a miracle? Allah revealed a verse in the Qur'an affirming that he would protect his revelation from ever being corrupted 1400 years ago. If you think about it, this is a huge claim to make, yet we find the Qur'an remains completely unchanged after all these years. No matter where you are in the world, the Qur'an is one and no two Muslims disagree. In another verse, Allah says that he has made the Qur'an easy to learn and asks if there will be anyone that will learn it. Every single generation since the Qur'an was revealed has had memorizers, making it the only book to have passed down in human memory. Considering oh. most Muslims don't understand the language, the speed at which they can learn the Qur'an is almost unbelievable. To give you an idea, Imagine memorizing a page of Chinese in a matter of half an hour. Today, there are more than 100 million memorizers of all its 600 pages, word for word, letter for letter. That's you. You might be asking, so why is the Quran in Arabic if most Muslims aren't Arabs? Well, Allah tells us why in many verses. In one, he says to remove any crookedness or confusion, and in another, so that it may be perfectly clear. We now know that Arabic is one of the most eloquent languages that delivers incredible depth and precision with the least amount of words. In Arabic, one single word can translate into a full descriptive sentence. If the Quran was in English, it would have to be thousands of pages thicker, if not more, just to yeah. carry close enough meaning. Mm -hmm. The effect that the Qur'an has on those who listen to it being recited can easily be seen from the thousands of reaction videos on YouTube. It literally brings people to tears despite them not understanding the language. Guess what? Allah explicitly told us that people would react like this 1400 years ago. In the fourth chapter, Allah presents an open challenge. He says, do they not reflect upon the Qur'an? If it had been from anyone other than Allah, they would have found in it much error and contradiction. 14 centuries of critics have passed, and not a single error or contradiction can be found, despite great advancements in knowledge. Allah has placed many scientific subtleties in the Qur'an for us to reflect on. For example, the Big Bang, that describes the creation of the universe starting from a single point, or the expansion of the universe that was discovered in the last 50 years. To give you an idea of how much of a breakthrough this was, Stephen Hawking said that this was one of the great intellectual revolutions of the 20th century. This was explicitly mentioned in the Quran 14 centuries ago. More signs include every living thing being made of water, and mountains as pegs, standing firm and stabilizing the earth from shaking. Amazingly, Allah mentions two seas that meet but don't mix, one fresh and sweet, 
the other salty and bitter, and between them being a barrier. All of which sciences confirm. Allah states how the human is formed, which we have found is in the correct chronological order. Particularly, Allah describes the embryo in shockingly accurate detail. The famous Professor Keith Moore admitted right. this information could not have been known by man 1400 years ago. Of the historical signs in the Quran include the preservation of the Pharaoh of Egypt. Both the Bible and the Quran mention that he drowned after Moses, peace be upon him, parted the sea. But the Quran also makes a very unique statement not found in the Bible. Allah says that he will preserve his body and save it as a sign for future generations. The Quran describes the location where the Persians defeated the Romans as the lowest land. Not only have historians derived that the battle took place near the Dead Sea, scientists have confirmed that this location is in fact the lowest point of land on Earth, 417 meters below sea level. Wow. The Quran is full of stories of previous prophets. Not many people know that Moses, peace be upon him, is the most frequently mentioned name. The Quran also narrates many stories about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is regarded as one of the best women to walk the face of the earth and has a whole chapter to herself. Why these story signs? Because there is no way they were plagiarized. In that time, there was not a single library or translation of the Bible available. There are also many linguistic miracles in the Quran. Modern research shows that the Quran follows a remarkable structure called ring composition. Let's take chapter 2 of the Quran as an example. This chapter can be split into nine groups based on the theme of the group. The first group mirrors the last group, the second group mirrors the second to last group, and so on. What's more is that there are sub-rings inside each group. In other words, rings inside of rings. If we look at group 8, we find yet another ring inside of that ring. There are also countless other occurrences in the Quran, such as the word day, in its singular, being mentioned 365 times, and the word month, 12 times. The word life is mentioned the same number of times as death, angels, the same number as devils, good deeds, the same as bad deeds, and belief, the same as disbelief. These are only just a few examples. Additionally, the Quran describes death, the day of judgment, heaven, and hell in such vivid detail. In fact, you can hardly find a page in the Quran that doesn't mention the Day of Judgment. All of that whilst presenting a complete way of life for us to follow. In Islam, anything that causes harm is not allowed, and everything that is beneficial and good is encouraged. Why is there harm? Because life is a test. Allah says in the Quran, He who created death and life to test which of you are best indeed. Islam develops your character, it teaches you how to carry yourself and how to be in control. Islam protects and empowers women, it eliminates racism, terrorism and all oppression. A good Muslim is one who people feel safe around from their actions and words, one who people trust and one who people look up to. A huge part of understanding why the Quran is a miracle is understanding how it was revealed. The Quran came down over 23 years in spoken form. It was not written down. Once verses came down, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, recited them and his companions memorized them. Unlike any other book, the Quran did not go through an editing process. Once the verse was spoken, it was done. That was the final version. The verses were not revealed in order, starting from chapter 1, verse 1, 2, 3, and so on. The chapters and verses were revealed out of sequence. Furthermore, they could not be planned ahead of time. They were revealed as a result of life experiences that were out of the Prophet's control, such as enemies challenging him or the believers asking him life questions. To summarize, 
the Qur'an has been perfectly preserved and unchanged for 14 centuries, whilst excelling linguistically, scientifically, historically, and mathematically. It has a profound impact on those who listen to it, and is memorized and recited by hundreds of millions of people worldwide. It brings forth a complete way of life, and fills the hearts with peace and purpose. Humanity is yet to rise to its challenges, as Allah promised, and it's safe to say that no matter what angle you look at the Qur'an, it shows no weakness. Allah says, if you are in doubt, then produce even a chapter like it. Then he says, call upon your witnesses. In other words, go ahead, work in a team, gather all of humanity and try your best. He then seals the challenge by saying, if you do not, and you will never be able to. 1400 years have passed and no book or text or speech in any language comes close to competing with the quality, eloquence and perfection of the Qur'an. A lot of people think if they follow Islam, they're going to deprive themselves of things they would have otherwise enjoyed. Actually, the opposite is true. Allah tells us that if we live life by his book, burdens are lifted and life becomes so much better and easier. The freedom, peace and harmony found in the heart of a true Muslim cannot be described until it is experienced. Allah has given us countless signs. Will we continue turning our backs? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem Sanurihim ayatina fil afaqi wa fi anfusihim hatta yatabayyana lahum hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq Not an eye opener. Wow. This is deep. Hmm. This is so deep, guys. This is, this is mind blowing. Why Quran is a miracle? It's it's so real and I respect like it's still written in Arabic. Like sometimes yeah, it, it breakfast me, I'll be like, why is it still in Arabic? Like how if I remind who is a Muslim, I'll be like, do you understand Arabic? He's like, he don't understand Arabic. But he can read the Quran in Arabic. I'll be like, how is that possible? Like, like so when he was like saying it to Raya, I'll be like, that is true. That right. I accept it because I, I have a friend who, who is like that. So I'll be like, wow, it's, it's so mind blowing. You can read it in Arabic and also understand it, but you can't try to like, speak the language to other people where you actually know what you're reading about. And it's kind of like easy for you to read it. And it's very written in Quran and it's going, to be, it's going to make the word easy for you to memorize. Mm-hmm. It's so beautiful. It's so magical, guys. Wow. This is so deep. This is a miracle itself. <laughs> it's truly a miracle. It's truly a miracle. And uh, almost all the way, I've read so, we read some of the videos over there. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's... It made us really emotional. You guys can go check it out. It, it was like we don't know what I tried reciting. Okay, they translated it for us. Yeah, so it was being translated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're able to read it. So why reading it? You get to understand it. Though you don't. The, when he was reading the, the scripture in Arabic, the emotions drives you to tears, guys. You naturally feel like crying. It feels so real. That is just the word I'm gonna use. And mm-hmm. uh, I really do like every moment of him explaining the video, explaining the more. Guys, every moment of him explaining it, it's it's so good. Uh, it feels so real. Uh, I enjoyed myself watching this. It's really good. I really do like it. I really do like it. And that moment he said, when Pharaoh, the water cover them the bible didn't proceed it for that but the quran said that the body was being preserved mm. that's that's so magical because over the, that time like they don't have anything to preserve the body 
That's, God is so powerful. Mm. Really, really powerful. Uh, this thing baffles me every time. When I see Catholic, they have like an advanced scriptures, the mm. way the Christ, Pentecostals. Pentecostal. I'll be like, wow. Why, why is it like they have more advanced and we, we have like brief and Muslim has four or more more teachings of Muhammad and it's not being written in the Bible whereas we are all talking of something the same thing in particular yes. but different branches because according to what they said they said you Muslim believe in heaven and also in hell they believe in good deeds and bad deeds like everything the same thing with us very very similar uh, to me right now guys I don't see any differences between Muslim and Christians uh, what I just see is like we didn't have time to learn more about Muhammad we didn't have time we're not being taught more about who Muhammad is and his message on earth to us so I feel like that's the difference between us yeah. because the rest are uh, to tell it together. Very similar. Yeah. And them having Mecca at the middle of the earth, it's, guys, it's that just mind so blowing mind for me. Blowing. I was like, wow. That was mind blowing. There's power over there at the Mecca, yeah. What do you think about the video? I just feel that each video I watch from um, this eye opening Quran yeah. videos, I feel it just makes me understand more. Like, it just gives us an eye-opening. Yeah. I always know, even before I started watching this, when I speak with my Muslim friends, there are some things they say that I know from the Bible. I'm like, it's a lot of similarities. And they're like, yeah, I've read the Bible and I can tell that things because I haven't read the Quran. I don't understand Arabic. So when it says like, this too is in the Quran, I'm like, wow. Like, so there's similarities in both of them. I was very, very surprised when I find it. I'm watching this and hearing and seeing more similarities, seeing more things. See when you saw there's a chapter meant for just Mary. Yeah. That was so beautiful. Like I really do feel that when he said it. So I just feel that there's heaven, there's hell, there's good deeds, there's bad deeds, just like he said. But we just like he said, when he said that um there's more in the Quran and there's more in the um Catholic yeah. um, Bible, but there's less. So I feel Maybe something went on along the line, and I don't know how that came about because there are some extra verses in the um, Catholic Bible that are not in the Pentecostal it's Bible. Quite, yeah. So I find it very, very strange. So I don't know how it came about. And there's, there's some scriptures or some verses that some people told me to read about. Like you get more insight about what is in the Bible. I just read it. There's nothing you can hide because. What's about you keeping it hidden is definitely going to come out in the light. Like just like the way we watch this and we watch that Muhammad was in the Bible. Even when they translated it to English and put it all together lovely, we still find out that it was Muhammad in that was right there in the Bible, despite the fact they translated it. Yeah. So nothing can be kept hidden under the sun. It will definitely find itself to the surface. I love this. I love the miracles he listed. I Really did enjoy listening to this right now. It was so beautiful and so eye-opening. So guys, comment down below for some hearing and also watching this lovely video. How was the reaction? Give us a thumbs up, share this video with us. Many of us can subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. Know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers. Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales on